Hi guys, welcome to Off the 10th. My name is Chris, and today we're taking a look at a beer that's really close to home. It's two towns over, as some would say. Uh, this one is coming from Bench Brewing out of Beansville, Ontario. This one is the Short Hills East Coast IPA. Um, I haven't had this one. I don't, I'm not a huge fan, of, I won't lie. I'm not a huge fan of Bench Brewing. However, there's a brewer there that, that I know very well. Um, if she's still there, it's pretty cool. Her name is Sarah. She used to be the brewer over at Lock Street in Port Dalhousie, but she is at uh, Bench, I believe. Um, let me see. The Short Hills East Coast IPA. Now, the Short Hills are on the escarpment up in Beansville, Ontario. We basically, it's just a place to go hike. It's a good place to hang out. It's on the escarpment. Lots of good things to do over there if you want to get some exercise, get going, get your heart rate going, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, let me see. The Short Hills East Coast IPA, it's coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, it's in a 473 milliliter can. Uh, ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast. Um, let me see. Oh, on the side here, it says it's 40 IBU, so... Yeah, we'll see what it says. Uh, on the back here, it says this is a hazy IPA. Hopefully, let's see what we got here with this beer. Uh, I picked this one up over at the LCBO, and yeah, January 10th, 2020. So just over a month old. Should be okay. Let's get into it. All right, here's the pour. Oh, she's hazy. I love it. It's a hazy beer. Uh, if you guys hear any humming going on right now, it's probably because I am currently editing another video and it happens to be right beside my computer or right beside my microphone here, but hopefully it's gone. Uh, okay, poured off with about two and a half finger of a nice big soapy bubbled head on there. Uh, it is hazy. It's kind of, uh, it's coming off a little bit darker than what I see here. It is uh, yellow. Uh, looks pretty inviting. Looks like a... Nice hazy IPA. Let's take a smell. Oh, there is some tropical goodness. Could Bench Brewing make me want to go see them again? With this beer? Probably. If it if this tastes half as good as it smells, then I'm going, I'm gonna go visit them in a little bit and check out what they're doing over there. Because this smells fantastic. This smells like it's gonna be a little bit sweet, which I enjoy. Um, you got some tropical goodness on this. You're getting passion fruit. You're getting mango. Yeah, you're getting a little bit of an orange or tangelo kind of flesh on this one. This one smells fantastic. Guys, I'm going to try this one. I can't wait. Cheers. Please be good. Please be good. Please, for the love of God. I'm surprised they wouldn't put oats and and flaked wheat in this one because you can totally tell that this has it in there you can tell there's some kind of filler to make this body on this beer all right i like this beer so far body on this beer medium body it's quite nice at 6.5 percent it's actually quite accurate i enjoy that it has got a nice creamy taste to this beer there's no lactose or anything in this one this one has um I don't know, 6.5% again, you can't tell. It's dangerously delicious so far. Now let's talk about the taste. Okay, everything carried over from the nose. Except there's a little bit of bitterness, which I'm actually quite surprised at. 40 IBUs, I thought this was going to be sweet through and through, but no, there's a little bit of bitterness on this one. It starts off sweet. It goes through, through, uh, sweet through the palate, and then right at the very end, it gets a little bit bitter. But it doesn't give you a dry finish or a semi-dry finish. It's actually quite nice. Um, it breaks out, I, I guess it breaks up the monotony of just being a straight sweet beer from the beginning to end. There's a little bit of bitterness on this one. And, excuse me, and I can appreciate that for sure. Taste on this one, carried over from the nose. I'm so happy. You're getting the tropical goodness on this one. You're getting the pa passion fruit notes on this one we're getting some mango notes on this one definitely getting up a little bit of an orange note on this one as well um and perhaps a little bit with that bitterness a little bit of a grapefruit pithiness on this one you know what 
I'm digging this. This is probably one of the best beers from Bench I've had in a long time. No offense. But anyway, guys, I'm done with my own opinion quickly on this one. And in my own opinion, this is definitely worth checking out at the LCBO. This is the Bench's Short Hills East Coast IPA. They've done a really, really, really good job with this beer. I dig it. I'm totally going to go back for more when I, once I see it again in the LCBO if I'm out beer shopping or whatever. I need something to crush. Totally crushable, this beer. Anyway, guys, I'm done with my own opinion on this one. Let me know down in the comments if you had this. If you have, let me know what you thought. Other than that, like the video, subscribe, all that mumbo jumbo. And I'm done. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. But anyway, I'm done with my own opinion. Again, I said that like the fucking third time now. Peace out, guys. I'm out of here. Talk to you later.